back. We're here with Scene Mo from Meat. 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 <laughs> uh, it's meat. An interesting story. Why do you call it M8 Meat? Uh, just because we're, you know, we we spent a lot of time with my staff in the kitchen, and we're kind of like a friend and family. Oh. So that's that's where the name comes from. That's a great name. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, what are you making for us today? So we're gonna make a tag of problem uh, book tini today, mm -hmm. which is. Um, the pasta that our signature pasta here. Okay. So uh, I will start with the uh, tomato and chive. I probably need uh, to okay. cut sure. some tomatoes and chive. How do you want? How do you want? Just to roughly know? chop the chive, and we'll use that for a garnish later. And for the tomato, you just need to cut it in half. Perfect. So I'm gonna have you to help me to make a very the most important part of this pasta. It will be the pasta. Okay. Yeah. So pasta. this is the dry Perfect. shrimp. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't mind hurt. just throwing in that water, the oil. Yeah. Okay. So it's a warm oil. We just let it. Infuse a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So that's just dry shrimp. That's a dry shrimp. You mm. can buy any uh, Asian store. That's what that is. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Excellent. And then we're gonna start put some garlic okay. in this little pot. Now you're doing an interesting fusion of Italian and Chinese food. Yes, that's correct. And we, because um, my background is, I've been eating Chinese food for 15 years. <laughs> so I, you know, I actually oh, wow. my Italian chef. Yes. Then uh, okay, right now I'm gonna put like a little bit of prawn in here, some prawn here. Just give a little sear. Beautiful. Yeah, and then uh, after that, uh, after many years study with the Italian chef, like Chef Pino or Chin Chin, and I start, feels like there's a connection in between Chinese cuisine and Italian cuisine. Really? Yeah, yeah, very, very strong. Really? Yeah. Well, so what I'm, is the connection? Like, we use garlic or? We use a lot of the same thing, you know, really? flour, eggs, and uh, starch, and even the tomatoes and the things. Noodles. And noodles like yeah. that. Uh, we're not really call that noodle, noodles, but. Yeah. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Chef, how's that? It's okay? That's perfect. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Good, Thank good. you. Good, good. Yeah, so that you can see this is a bubbling. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add this so the garlic chive. Okay. So which is the Oh, garlic back. chive. Yeah, this is different uh, between chive and garlic. This is in between. Mm -hmm. The flavor is uh, yeah, mm -hmm. give, give it a little try. Give it a try there. So we're going to, so this, once this is a bubble, it starts to get off the, all the moist. Mm -hmm. And then with this. This adds a mild garlic flavor, I guess, Very, not too yeah, strong. Yeah. Okay. So we just give a little shake, if you don't mind, and help me to keep yep. eye on this. Tell me to, and, yeah, you tell me, I'll watch. Okay, yeah. perfect. As so a chef, where do you get your enjoyment? Cooking and feeding people. I see happy face from the people, I'm happy. <laughs> really? Yeah. So we leave with a full belly, smile on our face, you know, it's been mission accomplished. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm going to have good. you to put your uh, tomato in here. Okay. Just, yeah. Throw right in there. Now you were telling me earlier that this is not how you were originally trained. You actually went to business school. Yes. As a youngster, you know, yes. about 17, 18, you were you moved to Canada and yeah, that's that was to school. that's where where I started because my parents wanted me to come here to learn business. <laughs> business. Sure. And then uh, you're I'm using not, it. You're yeah, using it. I am. I'm, so now I'm gonna add a little uh, roast corn from a local. That looks corn. powerful. Yeah. So how did the love affair with cooking begin then? Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me? How did the love affair with cooking begin? How do you go from business to I have to feed myself. So that's it. <laughs> that's simple. That's, that's, that's it. simple. Really? Yes. You know, <laughs> I got to feed myself, right? So yeah. I have to cook every day for, me, for myself and then sometimes for my friends. Yep. So I find it very, uh, I, I have enjoyment to doing, doing that. The social aspect. Yes. Of it. Yes. Mm, great. So now I'm going to give a little saute so you can get all the juice and things released. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper. This is very easy. Yeah, this things are very uh, easy. This is so bubbling. Yeah. So now I'm. I'm gonna need your help. Put some the white wine in here. Then we say a little bit. Start a little or a lot. You decide. That's good. <laughs> All right. You never go wrong. Never go wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna just let this reduce a little bit. Excellent. And so Mate has been open for about a year now. Yes. And it's uh, on the seawall. Yeah. Yale's right on the seawall, you can see the Grand Island uh, in our patio. If you sit on the patio, you can see the bright side of a Grand Island. What, be what a beautiful work area. It's hand and jam, I, I would say that. Yeah, oh yes. yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, what does mom and dad think of you now as a chef? They're very proud of me. Yeah. At the beginning, my dad had a little problem with me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just because I didn't do what exactly what he well, asked yeah, me to yeah, do. One of the business side of things, and you yeah. chased your passion yeah. of cooking. Yes. <laughs> and now they're proud to see you as a chef. Yeah, and then, you know, after all the all the things that have been done, and... Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm becoming a chef, and then he's really proud of me. Nice. Yeah. Oh, no, you have your own restaurant. So yes, that's yes. That's not a bad thing. You're using that those marketing skills, etc., that you learned anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I think this is good. So for this one, at home, you can pretty much make a week or two weeks oh, ahead. Really? 
you can sit there because it's an emerging oil. Yep. So you want to make sure you keep the freshness inside. Does it get more flavorful throughout the week? Yes. Well, so now so we're going to put off the heat. Okay. We're going to let this sit here, the infuse, and then until it actually cool down. Okay. And now I'm going to, so after all this wine is evaporated. Oh, smells so good. So I'm going to take this crown out. The next greatest invention will be smell of vision. <laughs> just, just so you can get appreciation for technique. what she, yeah, for, oh, for what Chef is creating for so us. So I'm going to do this as a little uh, prawn stock, which we use the prawn hat and shell to make a little uh, stock. Okay. Yeah, but at home you can always use water or vegetable stock. Okay. Simple, yeah. If you don't have the prawn or a fish stock. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. So now everything's in the pot. We'll just let it reduce a little bit, kind of concentrate a little uh, flavor a little bit more. What's your signature dish? This is one of the... Mm -hmm. I was going to ask that, yeah. So this would be one. Yes. There's a couple of other items we want to have. Uh, the, the, the mushroom tempura is my other signature oh. dish. It was from my grandpa. And so oh, I really? always... I eat this. I eat it when I was little because my grandpa is not really good uh, cook. But he do this very, very well. That was his That, that, was, was, that was his signature. <laughs> so you've taken it up a notch now. That's still from him. Yeah, yeah you see. Okay. It. And took I, did a little, I did a little change that in case I can put in there. Menu. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this is pasta is one of one of my uh, uh, I think it's the signature pasta because this is the idea is from Chinese dumplings. Oh, okay. the, this is Chinese dumpling is come with three ingredients: egg, ch Chinese garlic chive, and a prawns. Okay. So, which is uh, everything is in the, right here. You just deconstructed it, if you will. You can see that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now nice. we can see that. So we're gonna put our pasta in. So it's a pre-blanched pasta. Mm -hmm. That's bucatini. Bucatini, yes. This is my personal favorite pasta. Yeah, it's a nice, you get a... A thicker spaghetti yeah. noodle almost. Yeah. 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 And then nice there's bite. a little hole in the middle. So it helps oh. the texture very well. I remember using that, or trying to use it as a straw when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of a bowl. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. So you'll just plate it up, and yep. that's it. That doesn't take very long at all. Yeah, this is a very Perfectly. simple pasta. It's all about a highlighted seasonal ingredient. And at the end, we're going to fold that um, Beautiful. garlic chive in there, which is this one here. You can check out uh, Mate at their website. It's m8yvr.com. That's mateyvr.com. This smells magnificent. It's going to taste good. And I'm guessing it's going to taste even better. <laughs> it's really, really, really good. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. That uh, okay. scene mouth with Mate. Check them out. And again, our recipes are on our website, globalnews.ca slash globcrecipe.